This channel makes videos that hook their viewers and generates over $10,000 per month. This channel here creates similar videos and pulls in over 6 million views every single month, joining YouTube in less than a year and making over $20,000 per month according to Social Blade. What makes their videos go viral is because it challenges people irrespective of their age to test their knowledge about things around them in the form of quizzes or multiple questions. It turns out that people love challenges, and the best part these videos are so easy to create, scale and turn into series using three simple tools. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create long videos like these with Canva, and ChatGPT adds sound effects and voiceovers that make them interesting and keep your viewers engaged. And also I'll show you how to turn them into multiple short videos for YouTube short. So let's get started. Open ChatGPT and give it this prompt. I asked it to give me 15 different countries in a table and a hint that suggests what they are famous for without mentioning any country twice. Next go to Canva and switch to the Video tab, then click on the first option that has a dimension of 1920 by 1080 pixels. The first thing we need to do to start creating this video is to add a background from the Element tab, so I will go for a blue background and find a clip on the Video tab and then drag it to the canvas. This clip is 20 seconds long, but I want each scene of our video to be 12 seconds, so I will click and drag the end handle to reduce it to 12 seconds. The video we are about to make is a quiz on countries, so you can go to the Frame section on the Element tab and search for a rectangle with a border. We want to place the country flags in the frame, most of which are going to be horizontal. So scroll down till you find a horizontal frame, then click on it to add to the canvas. And we can go back to ChatGP to copy one of the names of the countries, then paste it here. In the search bar, then switch to photos to find a flag of the country. Drag one of the flags to the frame and move it to the right side while scaling it down next. And I am taking a text box to write the question. You can change the text, add effects as per your preference, and simply place it at the top. At the top we need to add the numbers, so you can do so by first adding a circle from the element tab, then dragging it up, and reducing the size changing the color to black. And adding a border to it on the icon, then you can click on the border color, and change it to yellow. Proceed to add a text from here, and we can add a number like 10. Change the color to yellow, and make sure it is aligned to the center. We now need to add the hints, so duplicate the header, then drag it to the middle, and add the text hint. Duplicate it one more time, and go to ChatGPT to copy the hint, and place it here. Then I will change the color of the hint to yellow. Then again duplicate the hint, and place it at the bottom. Go to ChatGPT copy the country, and paste it here. Then I am going to add effects here. After that search for a timer video here, add it to the canvas click on edit video at the top and remove the background with the first option. After that scale it down and place it at the bottom left. The next step is to change the timing of the elements so I'll do so by clicking on the header and make it start from 0.5 seconds. And I'll do the same for the number, the hint and also for the country flag. Only the timer here will start at 0.5 seconds, so I can click on the timer then shift the playhead to about 1 second, which is where I want it to start counting down. And drag the start handle to meet the line. I'll also drag the playhead to where the timer reaches 0, which is around 7.2 seconds, and drag the end handle to meet the line. Also when the timer stops is the same time the answer should appear, so I'll click on the answer and drag the first handle to meet the playhead. Then for the flag, I want it to start also at 0.5 seconds, similar to the hint. So let's add animations to the objects by clicking on Animate at the top. Now I am going to add animation to all the elements. Here you can give it as your own liking. The next step is to add some sound effects, so you can go to the Element tab and search for Cork, then switch to the Audio tab to find the sound. Drag the playhead on the timeline to 0.5 seconds where the flag appears. Drag the playhead to 1 second where the timer starts and search for a timer sound and select timer. I need to reduce the length of this sound so I'm going to drag the playhead where the timer stops and drag the end handle to there. Search for logo ascend on the audio as well and select logo ascend 8. For now you can't bulk create audio on Canva, but there is a simple hack I do use around it, which is this. Select all the elements on this page and delete it. 
Then click on the share button at the upper right corner to download the page as an MP4. Then press Ctrl Z on your keyboard to undo the deletion. Then you can upload the file you just downloaded to your library. I'll click on these three audios and delete them one after the other, then drag the uploaded clip to replace the background video. This way the audios will be present when we want to create the pages in bulk. The next step is to go to ChatGPT and copy the first country name from the table, then paste it in the search box on Canva. And then switch to Photos to find a flag. Right-click on the flag and select Add to Folder. We can create a new folder here, give it a name and add the flag to it. Now go back and then copy the second country name and paste it here as well. Right click and select add to folder. And you should see the folder you just created here, which you can click on to add the flag to it. I'll repeat this for the other countries, add them to the folder and skip to the next step. Now go to the app section and search for bulk create click on the result and choose the first option to enter your data. Manually clear the table first with the trash icon and go back to chat GPT. Copy the table from the first row to the last and paste it on the first box here on Canva. Then click on add image at the top to add a column for the photos. Then click on this plus icon to search the image you choose, search the folder you created earlier, and select the corresponding flag which is Thailand. Click the second box, and since it is named correctly, it would be easy to find the right flag for the row. Repeat this for the other flags, and when you're through with it click on Done. Right-click on the number 10, and go to Connect Data click on the number, which is the corresponding data, and don't worry about the big box it won't affect the result. Right-click also on Safari Connect Data and choose Hint. Repeat the same for the answer. Then select Country and also for the Frame Connect Data and select the image. Click on Continue and proceed to generate the 15 pages which will become the scenes of our video. As you can see it makes the whole scenes, but I need to align the numbers at the center. Now for a standard YouTube video like this we need to add an intro. So right-click on the timeline and select Add Page. Click and drag the new page to the start and find an intro template on the design tab. We can choose this and change the text according to our quiz channel. Then add another page. Add a country flag from the video section. Duplicate the heading from here, drag it to page 2. And I am going to type this question. Also add effects and animation. Now some of the channels I showed you at the start of the video only leave it like this by just adding some background music to it and they do gain views. However, those that get the most views and engagement do add a voiceover to it. So to do this, we'll use a voiceover tool called Flicky. This tool is completely free to use and has one of the most realistic voices in this category. So after signing up, you will come to this page. I am going to select the voice Sarah and the voice style should be excited. Click select. I am going to paste this text that will serve as the intro here and it'll automatically generate the voice. Now go to ChatGPT, copy the first country, and paste here one by one. After you put all of them here, download all the text one by one. You may wonder why I didn't download it as one file. Don't worry, this will make sense in a bit. If you download the audio in the same folder, you should see the answers are the numbers 1 to 15, while the intro is the first one. So on Canva, I already uploaded all the audios, and first I am going to drag the first one which is the intro. Now go to the first quiz country and click and then show timing. Now Flicky section 1 will be the audio for our answer. Now again go to the second country Flicky section 2 will be our answer. Now keep doing it until you have finished the whole video. So after doing all these, this is how it looks like. To the quiz love channel. In today's video, can you guess the name of these countries by their flags in 5 seconds? We'll give you a hint. Let us know how many you got correctly in the comment section. Let's get started. Thailand Netherlands. Now if you want to turn it into short videos, this is what you should do.
Go to the project section and then find the base template we use to create the videos in bulk. Click on Resize at the upper left corner and scroll down until you see Mobile Videos. Click on it and select Copy and Resize. This may look ugly at first, but all you need is to simply drag and enlarge the elements to different positions that will fit the canvas. The timer and the country, for instance, can be on the same line since they don't conflict with each other. Then go to ChatGPT Copy the First Four Country and paste it on the Bulk Create table. After that, click on Add Image and Flag Images exactly like we did earlier. After that, click Done. And we can see image is not connected yet. So for that, right-click then Connect Data and then Image. Then click Generate. And now for the intro. I am going to add this image and text, just like we did earlier. Then add the voiceover that we generate earlier, and it'll be exactly the same as we did for the long video. After that, download it, and this is how it looks like. In today's video, can you guess the name of these countries by their flags in 5 seconds? Thailand Netherlands Now this is how you can make videos like this and get millions of views. And you can see the video we make which is Guess the Country, it gets 6 million views and is getting 1.3k views per hour. So it can easily create 10 million views just by making this simple videos and make up to $22,000 every month. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.